This is Mission Control Houston. Welcome to today's ISS update. It is Tuesday, March 5th, 2013. The crew did make a good progress over the last couple of days unloading the SpaceX Dragon cargo craft. As of yesterday evening, uh, the crew has uh, completed all of the removal of the cargo that came up to the International Space Station. There was more than uh, 1,268 pounds of uh, supplies and research uh, that came up to the orbiting complex. Uh, the crew is way ahead of the timeline in terms of unloading all of that cargo uh, to the point that the ground controllers have asked them to take a pause while they figure out uh, exactly how they want the crew to pack this cargo craft full of the items that will come back to Earth at the end of the month. There's 2,668 pounds of materials and experiments that are going to be coming back home, uh, including some unneeded crew supplies, some experiments from the Canadian Space Agency, the European Space Agency, JAXA, which is the uh, Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, and of course NASA itself. So all of that will get uh, packed on board Dragon and will come back uh, what is scheduled for March 25th. Dragon also has some external cargo. There are two grapple bars that weighed 602 pounds uh, together that are in the unpressurized section of Dragon, basically the bottom inside of the spacecraft. Those are going to be removed tomorrow, uh, but in preparation for that, the crew and uh, the ground controllers here in Houston are going to be doing some robotic operations. The ground teams are going to command the uh, station's arm to take a peek at Dragon's trunk, which is the bottom portion of the spacecraft, to make sure that everything uh, looks good and is ready to support the removal of those grapple bars uh, coming up tomorrow. That should begin around 1 p.m. Central Time, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Those grapple bars will be stored on a uh, payload attachment point on the mobile base structure of the International Space Station. Ultimately, they will be stored one on the S-1 truss, and the second one will be put on the P-1 truss, both the left and right-hand side of the station, coming up during a future spacewalk. Meanwhile, as we mentioned, Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, and Evgeny Tarelkin getting ready to wrap up their time aboard the International Space Station. Their Soyuz will undock on March 14th at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. That'll be 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. It'll be the morning of March 15th there in Kazakhstan at the uh, landing site. They're going to be landing on the northern side, uh, just to the northeast of the town of Arkalik. That is, as we mentioned, the northern zone. Uh, the ground forces will be, will be based in the city of Kustanai. As that Soyuz undocks, the uh, recovery helicopters will lift off the ground and head out toward the landing zone. The deorbit burn for the Soyuz will actually take place at 10.04 p.m. Central Time. That'll be 9.04 a.m. the next morning in Kazakhstan. And then the actual landing will take place at 10.57 p.m. Central Time, or 9.57 a.m. there in Kazakhstan. Of course, we'll have live coverage here on NASA television of all of the day's activities as Kevin Ford, Oleg Novitsky, and Evgeny Tarelkin get ready to wrap up 143 days in space, 141 days aboard the International Space Station.